Morning, sheeple. What's going on, Chunky? <laughs> Kate's been spotted. She's been seen out in the grounds of Windsor Castle. And look, she's got my T-shirt on. Top model. Walking around like... If you want one, link in the bio, link in the description. Chunky, that's not real. That's not... What do you mean it's not... It, that's fake. That's not fake. You photoshopped that up. I never. I did it in InShot. Uh, are they still going on about Kate? And Megan, look at that one there. Do you like it? Do you like it? Uh, what's in the news though, Chunky? David Lammy, he came out, he said Thatcher was a visionary. <laughs> I'm not joking, mate. Labour, Labour's lost the plot. They, they, Mandelson famously said, we're all Thatcherites now. Well, we're not. We're not. Rachel Reed, she came out for Thatcher. And? Vote Labour. Get Thatcher. <laughs> oh, Conservative MP Jonathan Gullis, Rishi Sunak, he's in trouble. He lost the Rwanda bill last night. Where's the newspapers? He lost the Rwanda bill last night. Here's the newspapers. We want to see them. They're all shit. Same shit every, every single day. Look at that front page of the Daily Mail. We've done it. Rishi Sunak's done it. We've turned a corner. Your mortgage. <laughs> There's Kate. She's been spotted. Yeah, they saw that. Why haven't they got a picture of her with my T-shirt on? Three staff at the clinic are being investigated. That's just switching the narrative, isn't it? That's what they do. UK on track. Pension triple lock will be in a Tory manifesto. And there's William and Kate. Gaza babies are dying. They're, they're starving to death on no front pages whatsoever. Don't you find that extraordinary? It says here... Um, Labour coming out, children are starving, medical aid can't be accessed, hostages remain captive, we need an immediate ceasefire to get supplies in and create space. That's a Labour MP. Someone's saying, so when you abstained on the first SNP ceasefire vote and sat quietly while the second one was sabotaged, you didn't mean it. They didn't care. They didn't care about, about Gaza. They care, like there's an election coming. Conservative MP leaving the 1920-22 committee said, I want to call out those idiots for being idiots. <laughs> Says he, oh, because he lost the Rwanda vote last night. You're in the House of Lords. You're a regular reminder, this is from Professor Paul Burnell, that the Rwanda scheme has nothing to do with immigration. It will have no impact on immigration. And we'll do nothing to stop the boats. See, this is the thing. This is um, politics. This is the cruel, heartless, using people's struggle for life. People drowning, drowning dead at the bottom of the sea. Using that as a tool for power. Elections for votes. Uh, Chris Mason, BBC political editor. If you can hear a pin drop, it's because I'm still holding a grenade. Adam Bikenoff says, do they not understand how grenades work? Hold on. So you've got the grenade and you pull the pin and you've got to hold down the clip. As soon as, what do you do? Just throw it, run it, bang, run it, explode in your hand. Aren't you supposed to... Like lob it straight away, you get three sec. You get three seconds release. If you hear, say that again. If you can hear a pin drop, it's because I'm holding the grenade. Bang! <laughs> that scared ya. That scared ya. Have a good. Uh, uh, not never a Harry Cole. Uh, Nineteen twenty two committee just gave Rishi Sunak a full minute of desk banging. Owen Jones, boycott Eurovision over Gaza. The contest 
rightly kicked Russia out. So why is Israel allowed to whitewash his reputation as it commits genocide? Sadiq Khan, the Rwanda policy is inhumane, unworkable and hugely expensive. The Tories need to drop it now. The government has lost the first Rwanda bill amendment vote in the House of Lords by 271 votes to 228. The amend There's thousands in there. There's only a few bothered to turn up. The amendment requires the bill to be fully compl compliant with international law. Um, exclusive Jeremy Hunt told James Dyson that he should run for Parliament if he believed he could do a better job than the government. He was to he told him to suck it up. <laughs> There's Keir Starmer. This is the facts, right? Labour is run by a group of centre-right conservatives who got elected to the leadership by lying and pretending to be left-wing. They then expelled, sacked and marginalised everybody to the left of Thatcher. That's what's happened. I mean, what day is it today? It's Thursday. Go out there, smash it, be the best you can be.